Did you know that there are several different types of fat in the body, but one type of fat in particular can pose a health risk due to the fact that it's located around some of our very vital organs like our heart and our liver. Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Katrina Mattingly and I'm the Chief Medical Officer here at Options Medical Weight Loss. Now, there are three different types of fat so far identified in the body. We have our white fat, brown fat, and beige. Now, white fat, a lot of you are familiar with. It's the fat that is present inside the body. It's underneath, right underneath our skin. Then we've got our brown fat. So our brown fat is something that we're born with as newborns and as infants, where it helps to burn energy to stimulate thermogenesis, which is to help to keep our bodies warm. It has a lot of mitochondria in it, which is called the powerhouse of the cell, which helps to fuel metabolism throughout the body. The third type of fat, Beige fat is something under research now, and it's somewhere in between the white and the brown. Now, there is a lot of buzz right now about cold plunging and whether we can stimulate or make our brown fat more active, since there's a very small amount that's left in the body after we are past the stages of coming into the world where we need a lot of thermogenesis, mostly um, remaining in the neck and the shoulder region. So now there's some research to see if maybe there's a way to transition some of this brown fat from the white fat originally. Now the fat is located in three main areas of the body. We've got our subcutaneous, our essential, and our visceral. So subcutaneous fat is right up underneath the skin. It's what creates that look of cellulite or dimples, but it helps to maintain the integrity and the structure of our skin and, and our frames. So that type of fat is, everyone knows what that is. It's very visible fat and it helps to protect our bone to bones and our internal organs from impact or from trauma. Now the essential fat is more like at the cellular level. You can find it in the brain, around the nerves, within the tissues, and that helps with enzymatic and hormone regulation within the body. And then finally, we've got the visceral fat. Now the visceral fat is located around the intra-abdominal and sometimes intrathoracic organs. You can't see it from the outside, but if you see a diagram here, you can see how it's surrounding all of our organs. Now this type of fat is not the healthy kind of fat that we wanna see. It's what sometimes makes people's abdomens get bigger. But the main thing is that people with a large amount of visceral fat have higher rates of stroke, heart attack, cardiovascular diseases, type two diabetes, Alzheimer's, high cholesterol. This type of fat, when it breaks down, it's released directly into the bloodstream as free fatty acids, and then it goes into the liver. So this is the type of fat that we want to minimize. Now, how do we measure body fat? You said, I just get on my scale, I just see one number, how am I supposed to know other than maybe if I see a little bit of you know, cellulite on my body, if I'm losing fat or if I'm gaining fat. So there's a couple of ways. Waist circumference is tried or true. That's an easy way that we can measure around the abdomen to help determine if there's a lot of visceral fat present within the intra-abdominal cavity. Another way is our tried and trusty body composition scale, which we talk a lot about at Options, which breaks down how much lean muscle mass, how much water weight, and then how much fat we have in the body. And that'll also give us a measurement of, an, an approximation of potential visceral fat. Some medical professionals like to use a measurement of waist circumference divided by height in inches. And if that ratio is less than 0.5, then you're considered to be in a healthier range. Now, one important thing to remember is that we do need fat. It is an essential part of our bodies. Specifically, the white fat that we find in the subcutaneous areas also helps insulate the body. The essential fat, again, helps with our metabolic and cellular processes. The visceral fat, that's the one that we need a little bit less of, okay? And in options, we are really great at helping people to maintain their lean body mass and decrease their visceral fat so that we can decrease the risk factors for chronic diseases that we talked about earlier. So if you're interested in learning how to lose this particular fat and are just ready for a healthier and more functional life in general, then please don't hesitate to click the link below because at options, we have options for everybody. Did you like this video? Like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell so you can stay up to date on our latest videos. You can also visit our website using the link below to schedule a free consultation with us. We have options for everybody.